I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's always a little crime. I can't handle failing. Hi guys. Welcome back to my channel and to another video. So in today's video, I kind of wanted to do like a little follow up on last week's video. No, I didn't do a video last week. Sorry. But I wanted to do a video kind of just talking about what happened two weeks ago. And some more BS I've been going through in the last two weeks that will kind of give you some context on why I have not filmed a video last week. So if you saw two weeks ago, I talked about why I low-key regretted taking my master's. Just a long story short, it was just like, I felt like I should have taken a break before jumping into my master's or doing starting it sooner than I have. So I could have been done by now. I have another, what month is it? It's March. March is the third month and there's 12 months. So I have nine more months. <laughs> so I have nine more months of this master's program, unless I fail a course. That's kind of just like kind of the topic that I want to talk about in this video about failing and just failures in general. So I feel like I haven't been able to really sit down and think about my thoughts and just how I handle failing and failures in general. And I'm not specifically talking about failing a course or failing something like in specific, because obviously these are like personal things I'm talking about. So in the last few weeks, not even in the last few months, to be honest with you, I think it just escalated a lot in 2021, was that I am not used to failures. And what I mean by that is just not that I'm always succeeding in life, but it's more that I just don't do a lot that requires me to succeed or fail. I'm a homebody, so there's nothing really here that I'm like challenging myself to do or like trying a new thing or whatever. Since starting my master's program, I feel like I've gotten many emails from professors saying that my grades are not as great as I thought they were. And granted, I think it's due to a lot of professors posting grades very late. So it's like a lot of cramming to get my grade better which recently just happened and I'll get to it. Now watching the footage back I realized I never got to it. So two weeks ago my professor emailed me letting me know that my grade was below a C and you need your classes to be higher than a B to be able to graduate and I was like what are you talking about? My grade was like an 86 the last time I checked and I realized he put in all these grades and they were all marked for zero even though they weren't due yet but they were all marked zero and made my grade all the way to a 72 I think and I had to practice cram and get a whole bunch of assignments done that weren't even due yet just so my grade can go higher and for me to have a better sense of like clarity and peace of mind and yeah yeah that sucked <laughs> and that has happened to me many times in my master's program so it wasn't the first time but it definitely did not make me feel any good so a lot of things that I said I was gonna try in 2021 that were new to me because I'm not used to doing a lot of things but a lot of things in 2021 that I thought I was gonna try and succeed in because that's just the nature of how I am. I just assume, oh, if I try something, I'm, I'm just gonna succeed in it. How hard can it be? I have failed. I have failed many times this year. I have failed with my weight loss journey. Granted, that was actually very recent where I have had a big, a major setback in my weight loss journey. So you know how I decided in 2021 that I wanted to really focus on my weight loss journey and lose 20 pounds. It was going great at first. Like I was starting at like 198 and by mid-February, I think it was mid-February, I was at 190. So that's like an eight pound weight like loss. And I was like, wow, all I need to do is lose 12 more pounds to get back to where I was. To be honest with you, because all this stress that I've been dealing with when it came to my master's program and outside things that have not been talked about on this channel made me kind of reverse my progress if that makes sense but it made me feel like I wasn't able to stick to something and accomplish something because I backtracked granted I do not have a problem like stepping on a scale and seeing how much I weigh like I don't think that usually affects me the numbers don't usually affect me I think it's outside influences and outside opinions that affect me and recently I went to the doctors for a physical because my school was bugging me for a physical and they were like you can't pick classes until you get a physical mind you I live at home and I'm not gonna be on campus anytime soon I don't even plan on going to campus anymore but I had to get a physical like it was a great experience like I had perfectly I was fine I was normal and this was when I was 190 and I was reading her notes because she you can see like the doctor's notes on the app that we have and it was interesting because she was saying I was all healthy and stuff and everything looked normal then I read her notes and it was like Vanessa uh 22 year old overweight female things like that don't usually bother me and but I've never had someone physically tell me that I was overweight like at first I was like you know what it's nothing you know <laughs> 
I was like, it's nothing, it's nothing, it's nothing. But I was losing weight. Like, at this point, I was 190. I was like, wow, I've lost eight pounds. But to her, I'm still, like, overweight. Even though she doesn't know my weight loss journey, right? And I just let that bother me so much. I felt like a failure in a way even though this woman didn't even know that i was trying to lose the weight that i gained i was like little does she know like a few months prior i was like over 200 but like for some reason that really really bothered me and it kind of threw me off track on my weight loss journey and i started putting on weight again like i don't want to work out because of it because i was just like damn like really two weeks ago we remember when i was talking about my master's program and i was studying for these exams and i was fearful that i was gonna fail because like, I really didn't know how to do it. Luckily, for one of the exams, I did pass it. That was my management info systems. But the accounting exam, the one that I was actually wanting to pass, I actually bombed that exam, you guys. I did not do well. And at first, I was just like, you know what? Fine, whatever. And I walked away and ordered Burger King after and just played overcooked with my friend. Like, at first, I was just like, you know what? That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Oh, um, you got them next time. That's what I told myself. And as days goes on, even now, it bothered me that I bombed that exam because I was just like, I'm not used to bombing exams. I've only bombed one exam in college. Since this is an online class, I kind of just felt alone because I was just like, okay. It seemed like everyone in my project group was passing and they did good on the exam and I was the only one that bombed it. So I felt like an idiot. Granted, a lot of the people in my program are grown. And I'm only 22 and I'm just like, they have like way more life experience, a lot of job experience that I don't fucking have. And I'm just like, what am I doing here? Like, should I just stop? Early this week, I got to the point where I was just like, should I just stop and give myself like a mental break? What am I doing? Like, what am I doing? Like, why am I failing at everything that I try? Hello? How do you want to bust through the door like that? I just think... I'm not good at handling failing and not succeeding. I always been that child that my parents were just like, oh, she's the good child, like she's the smart child and she does everything correctly. And as I got older, they kept putting that in my head and I just was always telling myself like, oh, you must succeed at all things or your parents are gonna be disappointed. Now as a 22, about to be 23 year old woman, I understand that because of how I was raised and what I, well, the mindset that was put in my head, I can't handle failing. Like, I can't handle failing. It hurts a lot, yes. Everyone has failed before. Like, granted, you have to fail so many times until you, until you succeed at something. Even if I fail one time, you guys, I don't want to do it anymore. I will legit drop it. Like, just the idea of not being good at something right away. Yeah, I can't handle failing, you guys. I can't. But now I really think that I am trying to change that mindset that I always have, that you have to succeed the first try or it's just not for you. I don't want to grow up to, and, like, be grown and have my own kids and put that mindset on them because that's not fair, you know what I mean? Like, we're all different people. We all take time to do things. Putting myself into uncomfortable situations where I am not used to doing new things. Like, I put myself in a lot of situations now that are 100% new to me. And, and I have not succeeded at most of them, to be honest with you. And it just keeps hitting me and hitting me and hitting me and hitting me to the point where I'm just like, you know what, fuck it. I don't want to do it anymore. Last night, I was just like, you know what? I don't want to try any new things anymore because I'm just like, the more I try new things, the more I fail. And I don't like the feeling of failing, you guys. Like, I don't like it. Then I woke up this morning and I was just like, you know what? You can't just keep sitting around and moping i'm sorry i'm sorry i told myself not to cry um but i realize you can't sit around and keep moping about it and you just have to get back up on the wagon and try again or i don't know if that's to say what do they say get back on the horse to try again get back on the wagon to try again i don't know <laughs> anyway yeah so i'm deciding that i'm not gonna just quit everything because like just shit went wrong and i just have to like you know what sit down re-figure out what i'm gonna do then try again you know what i mean think of a new process and try again i woken up this morning just with like a new mindset not like a mindset just a new understanding of what to do after you fail really bad and now i'm just gonna rewrite my plan and just work harder practice more and try again <laughs>
Let me know if you kind of understand what I'm saying. I'm sorry this video is like so random. It doesn't, it doesn't make sense. Well, if you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. Please turn on your notification bell so you guys are notified every time I upload. If you want to join this family, we are on the road to a thousand subscribers, so I'd love to have you join. We are 600 subscribers strong. Thank you guys so much. And yeah, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.